Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to Bahu Automation Lab once again. And uh, today in this uh, online video session, let's continue the part related to the APM TDD framework. And in this uh, online session, let's understand the APM TDD framework project root folder structure. This is the commonly asked interview questions. So you guys, you have knowledge or big knowledge related to your framework folder structure. Okay. I will explain you the from the very sketch to, uh, to last how our TD framework folder structure will look like. So what are the packages and um, like classes we are using inside that pack, uh, folder structures. Okay. So let's understand from the beginning from the still last. Okay. This is a very interesting topic. So first of all, in our uh, framework, TDD framework structure, we have uh, like a commonly used folder. It's called as, called as com.bs.resource. So com is content for commercial BS. BS is, uh, you can define any name like a QA resources or BS or whatever, anything. You can define it like and resources. In, inside these resources, we can define the like a common class. One class is called as a best test dot Java. Inside this best test dot Java, what we are doing exactly in our uh, folder structure? So we are initializing driver, exist the driver, like un, like manage the weights, like explicit weight, and all related to the driver's commands and page factory uh, initialization. We are doing all these five concepts inside this base test, okay? Because it's a commonly used class. Simple. After that, there is a one, another folder, it's called as bs.config, com.bs.config. And inside this com.bs.config folder, we are, like define a one config.java class. In this class, we are defining the global APM driver setup. Simple. So global APM driver setup, we can consider as, uh, for example, if you have a, like a, one, a single driver or you, if you define the multiple driver, there might be chance like a driver initialization problems and uh, like a driver not found uh, in the same script. If you define the driver in every folder structure or every uh, like uh, packages or every classes that will be create a problem in your script. Okay, we will understand what type of problem it will be create, what type of exception will it will be you will be get through. So, so to avoid these problems like a uh, driver not found, this type of exception will be occurred if you are not like initializing the common APM driver or any driver in the Selenium as well. This is the common concept. So we are defining this common config.java file where we are defining this global apm driver and you are use that uh, global apm driver in entire your architecture or entire your framework structure and entire whenever you require to initialize your anything you can use this config driver itself global driver okay so next is page object com.bs.page dot page object uh, folder in this we are defined all page object for example here we have login page objects dot java file and product like a product page object uh, page object dot java file so this is the uh, two commonly used like uh, object java okay you can consider here like a, a login page object and here also consider this file as a product page dot uh, product page object dot java file okay so this may uh, this two classes in this uh, folder structure I am just using for the example purpose. There are two classes if you uh, define the two tests and uh, two uh, page objects. For this all two tests like here we have com.bs.test package inside that we have two tests login test and product page test dot job. For initialization of this object related to this test classes we will define this object folder and inside this object folder we can define a method to identify the login page elements all the methods and all uh, like what we can say uh, locators xpath id and everything whatever we required we can define in this objects files and in this test classes we can define the login functionality like a product page functionality and um, for example uh, how we can access that uh, page objects from that uh, into that login test and uh, product page test uh, dot java file okay everything will be defined inside this test classes so this is next package it's called as a common uh, commercial like uh, com.bs.utilities dot utilities in uh, utilities in this utilities class okay you can consider this In this utility package, we have uh, like a utility dot Java class. In this Java class, we have 
folder of common utilities like uh, utilities we can like define in this class for example like weights initialization reports initialization like extend reports initialization everything we can define inside this common utility package okay and uh, utility java class now let's understand this for example com.vs resources inside this we have a java after that in the full dot root structure we have common dot uh, like com.bs config inside that com config dot java folder after that like a page object uh, folder inside that login page object product page object uh, dot java classes inside these classes we have com.bs dot test uh, folder in this test folders we have login test and product page dot test I, inside that we have common dot uh, like com dot bs dot utility inside that utility dot java and in the root folder itself we have like a src dot test dot resources and inside that resources we have like a test data dot json pipe to get uh, define the test data okay and the string dot xml string dot xml for uh, the test for example we can define the expected results and everything in this string dot xml file these are the very lightweight commonly used test data uh, test data like extensions for example like a json and a string dot xml okay inside that on the root folder we have itself you have automation reports folder inside that folder we can store all the execution report for example extend report and html reports everything we can store inside this extend uh, report we are using advanced extend report because uh, in the folder structure we have with, like creating test and related reports but that will not look like the, that much of advanced, advanced reports so we are using the extent reports library to create a best extent report as per the our execution flow and after that we have one commonly used used folder it's kind of all pin shot so store it will store uh, screenshots for the all field test cases. Also, we'll store the videos also, like uh, recording videos and everything. We can store all screenshot and all video folder or inside the one single folder as well. Okay. And uh, in the last bit, not the least, we have a test ng XML file, the configuration file of test ng to run our test ng. So this is the common st folder structure. Okay. You can uh, define that and you can expand it uh, from the root to the purpose level. Okay. So without wasting time, in the next session, we'll start developing this TDD and uh, architecture in, uh, from the scratch to advanced level, from the very simple uh, best, uh, like uh, best uh, log logging script, we'll start it and how we'll start to automate uh, our, like a Swagger lab, e-commerce app uh, in the next chapter. Okay, so let's continue the next chapter till time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.